All right, today what we have here is my buddy dropped off a weed whacker a while back and he says if you can get it running, you can have it, sell it, do whatever. So I was going to do just that, but I figured doing something else and uh, I have it hooked to a board. This motor is just for uh, demonstration purposes on what I do when I get something that's not running and pretty much the steps I take to get it to run so without further ado I'll show you what I do with because I don't even know if it runs I never even really messed with it so we'll both find out together I guess the first thing I do is check for compression now that's as easy as just pulling the cord you can check it that way but you really don't have a good idea on what the compression is what you can also do is take out the spark plug, put your thumb over the hole, and pull it if, and also see if it has compression. But what I got here is a compression tester that I ordered a while back. This one's a four piece. All this comes apart. You have different adapters for different size uh, spark plug holes. So what I do is I match up which size is what. This one seems to be a bit on the long side. You don't want it hitting the top of your piston. So we'll take that one off. This one's clearly too big and way too long. So we'll take that one off. That one seems to be the perfect size, so we're going to install that. Sometimes it's hard to get this thing started into the spark plug hole. Just make sure you don't cross thread it. And you don't need a wrench to put these on. There's O-rings. Just tighten it up with your hand and that'll be fine. So according to this and everything else that I read, If it's reading around 90, it'll still run. Anything really lower than that, if it does run, it's going to run very poorly. Now, it's red up until about... It starts turning... This starts turning green around 90 PSI, which the higher you go in compression, the better off you are. Most, new, most brand new engines that I played with, are usually around 120 it's not odd to see them around 90 if it's around 60 that's usually no good so we're gonna give it a couple quick pulls and then see what we end up with <laughs> So we'll give it a couple more quick pulls and see if it gets any higher than that. A little higher than 90 PSI. There's a button here on the side where you can relieve the pressure. So 90 PSI, a little higher. It'll definitely run. So... I'm just going to do test by test, so I'm going to have this all broke up into smaller uh, videos, and then we'll go from there. Now, okay, it has compression, because it's, it's pointless to put gas in it and then try to start it if you don't know anything about the motor, so it has compression, enough compression to run. So the next thing I'll do is check for spark, and how I do this is push the spark plug back in the hole. You can touch the cylinder head and pull start it and watch for spark. Which this one does. I'm not going to be able to get it on camera. If you can't tell, and this thing, it, these ain't going to hurt you. They're not going to kill you. But you can actually 
grab a hold of the spark plug and then touch your thumb to the metal on top of the cylinder and when you pull it you're gonna feel it spark in your hands and then you'll definitely know if it has spark so we're gonna we're gonna go with yes it'll run probably just something wrong with the carburetor like always the uh, ethanol that builds up in it after a couple years so that's it for this video on the next video I'm gonna show you what to do if you have no spark thanks for watching